Okay, so tonight I am making a chicken lo mein. Um, the meat I chose to use is a dark meat. It's uh, actually the boneless, uh, skinless uh, thighs, which I cut up and I marinated for three hours in this um, Chinese uh, five spice. I got this from the local oriental store. I also have my oyster sauce, which I'm gonna use in the uh, sauce for the lo mein, as well as my uh, stir fry sauce. Now this one is a spicy one. I'm pretty sure they have some that aren't spicy. I have my green onions cut up. I shredded up a little cabbage as well as some uh, white onion here. I already got my pot on for the lo mein. All I added to the uh, water was, I like to have a little flavor. So I added a uh, half a teaspoon of this chicken powder and a little bit of oil, maybe a teaspoon of oil. And the noodles I chose to use, uh, there was actually some noodles at the shop, the Oriental place that um, I didn't agree with. So I went by the store and grabbed some others. These are, I believe, fettuccine noodles. So they work pretty good. You can also use spaghetti noodles if you can't find the actual Chinese lo mein noodles. So once the water starts to boil and I get those noodles going, maybe about halfway through, um, we'll start to begin to cook the chicken and get those things going so that we can combine the two. Yeah. Okay, so the noodles are done. I've been boiling these noodles for about 12 minutes now. So they're exactly where I need them to be. Before I take those out, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and start. Usually when your noodles are about where you want them to be, depending on the texture that you want, you wanna go ahead and start with your, um, your meats and getting your other ingredients together and cooked. Let it smell so good. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this chicken. Not yet. I'm gonna cook this chicken uh, about five minutes, and then I'm gonna add some of the other ingredients. <clears throat> it smells really good. This um. This Chinese five spice has a really good smell. It has cinnamon, um, fennel, ginger, cloves. It smells really good. I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. And I just added a very little tip of the edge spoon of the minced garlic. Mm. You smell that? That smells really, really good. Okay, Leah, I'm gonna add my cabbage, my onion, that way by the time, the reason why I went on to add that is so that by the time um, the chicken is done, so will the rest of my vegetables be so that I could go ahead and add my noodles. Okay, stay there for a minute. So what I just did was put my uh, lo mein noodles, uh, I, I strained them and I strained them and ran some cold water over them and I got them on some cold water so that they won't get all sticky and mushy. You probably experienced that when you make pasta, if you don't use it right away it will tend to dry out and stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to add some oyster sauce. This has more of a um, saltier, not, it's not sweet, like poison. Some of you may know, you may use oyster sauce. It's pretty good. And now I'm gonna use a little of my stir fry. Now remember, this is spicy, so you might wanna get one that's not spicy. I think the Kung Pao is the one that's spicy, I'm not sure. I'm only gonna add a little bit. Turn the heat up some so that it can go a little quicker. 
I turned it down low because this is this wok gets hot really really fast. You don't want to burn your your meat and stuff. So in another three minutes, that chicken will be done. done. All right, so now I've been cooking this about, I would say, seven minutes. My vegetables have gotten the way I want them, so now I'm going to add my lo mein noodles. And you're just going to toss that in, around in that sauce. I got a little soy sauce. I'm going to throw that on there. Okay, and when I come back, I will show the finished product. You're just gonna toss this maybe, just enough to really get the sauce through the noodles. You don't have to cook it anymore really because it's already, you know, done, so. All right. Okay, there's the finished product. And I put a little bit on the plate so my daughter can taste it and tell you all what she thinks. These are fettuccine noodles, actually, but you can also use spaghetti noodles. Um, you can use any noodles that you want that are like, you know, the long. What do you think? It is delicious. It tastes exactly like long noodles. <laughs> You're so silly. So good. <laughs> all right, thank you all for watching, and you have a great day.